How's it going guys? Today I'm doing a review of my Vaughn VE8 Pro chest protector. I've had this chest protector for about a year now. I've actually used it for one season exactly, and I want to be giving you my full experience and review. This is a chest protector made by Vaughn, obviously. It's not like their SLR series, where their SLR series is more for butterfly style goalies who use the block a lot. This chest is used for the athletic goalies who play an aggressive style of play, you know, really active in the crease, or maybe even outside the crease, and move around a lot to make saves. But before I start this video, I want to tell you guys about something very amazing. Legend has it, right, that if you go down below, pause this video and click this red subscribe button, a full custom set of goalie gear will arrive at your door tomorrow morning. Now, that's a blatant lie, obviously, but hey, you never know, it could happen. It's not impossible. So just don't take your chances. I mean, you have no reason not to. It takes you two seconds. Just go click the subscribe button. Join the club here on YouTube. But seriously, though, everyone on YouTube was part of my most dedicated audience because it's something I started as an extension of my Instagram page that has 20,000 followers. Here we only have around 800 at the time I'm making this video. So thank you to all those who have subscribed to me on YouTube. You're my most dedicated fans. So back to the chest protector. I'm gonna go over some of the main features first. I mean, it's a little hard to go over the features of a chest protector because it's just a chest protector. I mean, you have padding, more padding, and then more padding. But they do have some really cool features on this. So they have the carbon enhancing performance on here, which basically means they have like little carbon slots in here to kind of beef up the protection. I have noticed a difference when I have this in comparison to my old chest protector, which did not have this. And it's definitely helped with um, stopping some stingers and adding a little bit more protection to my chest protector. This is the logo for their carbon material. They have it kind of in the arms right here, and the chest where it's most important as well. And what I really do want to mention is that this was only around $400, I believe, for a chest protector. And the reason that was true is because Vaughn has done something interesting that a lot of other companies haven't. So what they've done is they have a standard senior model, which is really for people who aren't taking very hard shots. They have the pro model, and then they have like a super pro model, or I guess a pro performance model or something like that. So this is kind of like mid range, but still offers the pro level of protection, which is very good thing that Vaughn has done this, I think, in my opinion, because they're offering pro level protection at a little bit of lower price than the other competitors. So again, you have this kind of flexible material. You have this kind of blocks down here. What this allows you to do is have a little bit of flexibility. Um, a lot of, obviously most chest protectors, not all of them have this, but obviously you'll have more on one of these chest protectors just because it's meant for goalies who are moving around a lot and you kind of need something a little bit more flexible to compensate for that. You have this padding right here. I mean, I still use a neck guard anyways. I don't know very many goalies who get away with using nothing. They don't use a dangler or a neck guard because most chest protectors just don't cover your collarbone very well, if at all. But they do have something here and it does protect you, I guess, just as much as any other chest protector would. I personally do like the color scheme a little bit. I mean, at first I thought it looked a little bit cheap with the neon, but you know, I've kind of grown to like it a little bit. I mean, it's not like people are going to be seeing it or anything because it's under your jersey, but it's a nice touch to have on your chest protector, especially since everything's nicely stitched on, uh, the silvers and weave and all that too. I guess it's pretty good. Uh, your arms are pretty solid from the front. Can't have no complaints about that. On the back, there's not really much protection on the back as there never really is with chest guards because you're not supposed to be making saves with your back in the first place. Uh, I mean, this part's pretty protective, I guess, if you get hit there, but for the most part, you're just getting your standard back protection as you would on any other chest guard, just the way it's gonna be. Um, you have the elbows right here, which are have been very good. I've had to knot them up a lot, which you do have to do with most chest protectors, and I have to check them every once in a while and re-knot them. Nothing major, no real complaints there. And it's been very protective as far as the elbows goes and my arms goes. And the same thing goes with the, this arm as well. It has like a buckle system here so you can unbuckle, although I never really use that at all. It's the first time I've actually unbuckled it in my life, I think. And you have these Velcro things up here where you can kind of adjust all the padding. So let's say you want these to be a little bit lower, these shoulder risers right here, you can adjust that with these Velcro straps right here. So that's a really nice touch. And you have the same thing right here as well. This actually moves the entire arm. So if you want the arms to be lower, you can loosen this. If you want the arms to be up more, you can tighten the strap. So that's a really nice touch as well. So something I do want to talk about is why I got this chest guard in specifically. And the main reason for that is because I went into Goalie Monkey, actually. I was the store when it was still around in California. Rip Goalie Monkey. And it was the day where they had all the goalie brands uh, in town and they had their reps there. and. I was shopping around for chest protectors. I'm looking at the G3, I believe, and a Von rep came up to me and he's like, no, let me fit you in one of these. So you, what kind of goalie are you? 
and I told him I did really like the SLR too, more of an active goalie, and he basically he just fit the right there, right there in the store. He basically got the chest protector, he fit it really well, um, adjusted all the strapping for me, and that's really the reason why I went with Bond. I was probably gonna go with another Warrior chest protector otherwise, but just because the rep was there, he helped me through the whole process and it worked out very well. So, great job to bond with their uh, employees being re uh, really nice and uh, really helpful. So would I recommend this to you guys? Um, yes and no. It's been a very solid chest protector overall. However, I have gotten some stingers in the gut every once in a while. Again, there's no chest protector that's gonna get rid of all stingers except ones that are really, really high quality. But even then, you're still gonna get stingers. Again, these are like the middle pro model. For performance, it performs very well, uh, especially for the price, for 400, ish dollars. I believe it's the price. I know it's above 400 but I know it's not 500 It gives you a really good chest protector, really high quality for the price. So I would recommend it if you guys are looking into it. If you're an active goalie who wants some protection for your arms, uh, your chest, something better than your last chest protector but not quite the pro model at a really good price, this is for you. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go click the subscribe button right now down below and go watch one of my other videos. There's probably one here, here, down here, and then go click subscribe if you haven't already right up there. You can follow me on Instagram, at Life. Join the 20,000 people who are already following me over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.